This is Blue Lake Gallery. I think this is a good place to start because I'm sure they have brochures. Here's some right here. I was thinking about downloading it off the web, which would have been something that we could do too. Ooh, nice. Uh, this must be the work of Susan Smith. She takes parts that she finds all over, mainly at the beaches, and makes them into dolls. This is fascinating. It says this is a retired computer analyst, and he takes found objects. Look, this is the thing we used to always wear in our hair. Look at this shoe. Holy cow. Old door handles, everything. Very nice, very nice. This is, this is way cool. This is the work of uh, Pat and Ken Larson. I'm, I'm usually used to their sculptures. They're featuring Ernest Miller, and he does this wonderful porcelain work. Um, oh boy, those are gorgeous. Crystalline glazes on porcelain. Of course, you know, they've always been known for Craig Blacklock's work. Oh, Craig's working on canvas now. Wow. Those are really spectacular. I've never seen his work on canvas. It's a beautiful gallery. Well, I suppose we ought to wait for the light to turn. <laughs> well, the Art Dock always has an interesting show. I see it's right ahead here. In honor of the Earth, all the mediums are represented. You can find photography, you can find watercolor, you can find uh, woodworking, a lot of ceramics. Um, well, this is uh, Sue Pavlato's. This is a nice show. Their, their shows are just always fascinating here because of the variety of artists that they carry here. Well, the show here is called Duluth, Paris of the North. This is Rick Allen's work here. I know of Rick, uh, he does so many wonderful illustrations and he illustrates books that's been winning awards. Nice. You know what, this is really cool. Not many people realize that there's a gallery here right in the middle of the Holiday Mall. Well, here's their feature show here. Hi, Susan. Hi, how are you today? Good. And you have the Watercolor Society here? Yes, we do. Looking forward so, to seeing it. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow, what a nice collection. They really got a nice selection of work. And, and to get this variety of colors is just gorgeous. I mean, look at the, the variation in this piece right here. Finally, Lizards, one of my favorite galleries. Well, here's Dorian's work right here. I first came across Dorian when he was a potter at the prison. He wasn't an inmate, he taught pottery there. And now he, of course, teaches up at LSC. The thing I love the most about Lizards is not only the great art, but the wall space and that he has to display. It's two floors. And Jeff is just so good at displaying all the artwork that he has. I think after lunch we should head to the Zeitgeist. We don't want to miss their show. Zeitgeist is right down the street from here. And then we could head up to Washington Gallery from there. They have a co-op of artists. Uh, and I think then our best bet would head up to the Tweed Museum of Art at UMD. Because not only their shows, but they also have uh, some of their artist studios open for the day. And then after that, we for sure have to get across the bridge and go to the Red Mug in Superior. For the eyes, it's just, it's almost a sensory overload to when you get to see all this great work. Can't imagine what my dreams are going to be like tonight. Free trolley rides and open studios are part of the scene on Saturday. The Gallery Hop website has all the details. Funding for the playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.